it's your brother Larry Adeneko welcoming you to the really really knowing God channel as I lead this fellowship of information and inspiration in the knowledge of our God all powered by the pastor Larry Adeneko Center for Education This is the Daily Gem Devotional, making you a gem to your generation and a gemstone upon the crown of Jesus. We are sharing truth this morning on the quality of spirits. This is coming from the Song of the Bow, 2 Samuel chapter 1, 17 to the end. Let's pray together and then we go jump right into it. Father God, we bless you and worship you this morning. Thank you, thank you for the fine night rest we had. Again, a fine day has come and we give you all the praise for it. As we go on to share from your word of God, Help us at it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Yes, it's the song of the bow. That's what they call it. Uh, verse 17 of first summer, second summer chapter 1, I beg your pardon. Then David lamented with his lamentation over Saul and over Jonathan, his son. And he told them to teach the children of Judah the song of the bow. Um, indeed, it is written in the book of Joshua. Uh, the, the, the beauty of Israel is slain upon your high places. How the mighty have fallen. Tell it not in God. Proclaim it not in the streets of Ashkelon. Let the daughters of Philistines rejoice. Let the daughters of the uncircumcised triumph. O mountains of Gilboa, let there be no dew or rain upon you, nor the fields of offering. For the shield of the mighty is cast away there. The shield of Saul, not anointed with oil. From the blood of the slain, from the fat of the mighty, the bow of Jonathan did not turn back, and the sword of Saul did not return empty. Saul and Jonathan were beloved and pleasant in their lives, and in their death they were not divided. They were swifter than eagles, they were stronger than lions. O oh, daughters of Israel, weep, weep over Saul, who clothed you in scarlet and luxury, who put ornaments of gold on your apparel. How the mighty have fallen in the midst of battle. Jonathan was slain in high places. I am distressed for you, my brother. Jonathan, you have been very pleasant to me. Your love to me was wonderful, surpassing the love of women. How the mighty have fallen and the weapons of war perished. Okay, they call it the song of the bow. All right. Um, <clears throat> so, um, first and foremost, um, there was this uh, lamentation. And David lifted up his voice and began to... Um, it was some form of poem, really. Um, but it was in, in honor of the people who had, or had died in that terrible battle. Okay. And then he said that people it should be written down. It should be told to the children of Judah, you know, this song. Indeed, it is written in the book of Jesha. Now, I should mention something about this particular book because there have been mm, some fake of it around the place. People will say that, uh, you know, there is some book and the number of mystic things are inside it. Please do not mind them. In, indeed, there was a book like that. One of the national song books of uh, Israel. It, it was but the meaning of it actually is the book of the uprights that's the truth about the matter so somebody comes up and begins to say all kinds of things existed in that book there was nothing there there were just testimonies and things like that and uh, they call it the book of the upright people that's just the meaning of it let's go on so <clears throat> He now began to say, The beauty of Israel is slain upon your high places. Now, this, <laughs> what was he referring to as the beauty of Israel? He was referring to the army of Israel or the armies of Israel. That's what he was referring to as the beauty of Israel is slain upon your high places. How are the mighty falling? You know, now, you want to think about the fact that this was the army he outwitted several times. It was the same army he was referring to <laughs> as the beauty of Israel. Honestly, I want you to begin to see the kind of person David was. This was an army. David managed to outwit them several times. But he still called them the beauty of Israel. Okay? So that, that heart was beautiful. Beautiful uh, kind of heart that you see in there. In spite of... Um, all that has happened. He was not gloating over that uh, their their loss or their defeat or, or whatever. He was still saying, ah, this army was the pride of Israel, you know, and all that. In spite of the fact that you had outwitted them, it looked like um, a greater pride than they were now, <laughs> okay? But you see, he didn't think that way. He, he still called them such a beautiful name. Let's just go on. And then he began to say, don't tell it, you know, he began to mention Philistines, um, uh, towns and cities so that don't mention it there so that their daughters will not be going, begin to rejoice and all that mountain of Gilboa that was where there was a war if you remember where that um, uh, funny character said it just happened to be on the Mount Gilboa you remember all that okay so he spoke about you know all those things about there uh, how that um, um, 
there was nothing like returning from war to wash your shield or to wash your uh, breastplate to clean it and then to oil it ready for the next time you are going to use it and all that that's what he was trying to uh, say there and then he says that uh, the blood of you know blood of the slain from the fat of the mighty the bow of jonathan the sword of saul you know oh these guys were beloved and pleasant in their lives and in their dead they were not divine it was now singing their praise <laughs> it was talking about how okay if we, we went a bit further he said they were swifter than eagles they were stronger than lions okay daughters of weep over Saul. you know it was now uh singing their accolades talking about um their prowess their ability you know, during the war you know during wars okay let put it that way during wars or battles he was now singing all that that these, these guys were fantastic you know they, they were great warriors they did well for the people of israel and this and that you know he, he went on to talk about the prosperity they brought upon the land during their time oh daughters of israel weep over Saul, who clothed you in scarlet and luxury who put ornaments of gold on your apparel you know he spoke about <clears throat> their achievements about their military abilities their um shall i call it social economic abilities also how they made the people to prosper how they brought happiness and joy to the people as they won many battles and they had uh, 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 war uh, booty plunders from 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 the war you know and how these things spread to the people they reached the people these guys were beautiful and he was singing meanwhile remember it was Saul that was chasing after him trying to kill him you know in so so over years that he was just running up and down you know trying to remain alive these were the same people that he was really eulogizing here <clears throat> he says oh how are the mighty falling <laughs> who are the mighty Saul talking about Saul now that you know he was mighty the same Saul that he could have killed twice at least and he just allowed him to go that's the way he, that's the way he perceived him and I I'm seeing something here about you know the heart of David okay let's go we'll come back to that one and then briefly let's talk about um, Jonathan I'm distressed for you my brother Jonathan you've been very pleasant to me you've been wonderful surpassing the love of women okay, let's talk about Jonathan very quickly and then we come back to the general thing again Jonathan, he called his brother, his covenant brother, <clears throat> the person who showed him so much love and he sang his praise especially. Your love is bigger than, you know, between a man and a woman. Um, your love was you're, you're very, very strong, so, you know, and all that. And that's the covenant thing that, you know, they, they, they had together between the two of them. So he mourned for Jonathan especially and, you know, um, you know, said something about it. And you should say that to one another, really, because you see, the Bible expects the Christian love to be beyond that of Jonathan. That's what the Bible teaches us. It says that we should be able to lay our lives down for the brethren. Praise God. And I think somebody should be challenged in this way. But, and then he runs it off. But what I can see from this whole thing is the kind of heart that David had. David, the Davidic spirit was a special heart, honestly. Um, this was a person who's been so hounded by this Saul so badly. But you see, this Saul died. The army that he, what's the right word? That he humiliated. And you remember, he still called them the glory of Israel, the beauty of Israel. He still called that army so. He still described, you know, Saul and all his achievements and all the things he did, you know, and all that. He said these guys were together. And said beautiful things about them because of his kind of heart. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> So honestly, he genuinely loved his uh, his uh, his nation, and uh, that thing was from the depths of his heart. That's one and two. This kind of spirit that he had, not many people have that kind of. Did you know that this was the only time this happened in their entire history till date? Nobody ever did this again in in their whole story let this pin be written down let it be taught unto the children you know singing and and eulogizing these people um let's leave jonathan aside what about saul who had done all kinds of things and were attempted all kinds of things so several times first in the palace and now in the open everywhere he was running after this man trying to kill him but david never saw you know all that he had chosen to ignore all that and rather focus upon the positives in the life of this man who had now passed on and he was singing his praises honestly it's a beautiful spirit and i think that we should learn from there we should pray that god should give us you know um, um that kind of uh, that kind of heart honestly that quality of heart that god should give us that kind of a thing so that we also can uh, record this kind of a thing no wonder god just loves this david and said he's a man after my heart did you know that god is like 
like that as well honestly and um it's it's so it's so wonderful and i pray that uh, we also will learn to be that forgiving and you know to overlook the, the bad deeds of people you know and after they have passed especially after they have passed just just concentrate upon their positives alone thank you very much uh, um, thank you for sharing time with us this weekend and i trust it's going to be a fine one for you in jesus mighty name i don't know why i don't know i feel subdued somehow maybe because of this particular song of the bow and all that happened along with it i don't know but nevertheless try and have yourself a good weekend god bless you thank you